Great if you had just a bunch of old cell phones lying around that you could make phone calls with them. Even better yet, not using a service out there, just using the internet. Being able to talk to friends or family directly without even setting up a server. Well, that's what we're going to look at today. Look at this. It's my EPC from like 12 years ago. It cost me like five, six hundred bucks. One gig of RAM, four gig solid state drive left in it. There used to be a second one for storage, but Right now I'm running off an SD card. Uh, I just need a second computer uh, that I can put up here for you to show you guys. This thing runs very slow and it gets so hot, which is part of the issues with it. But today we're going to be looking at Linphone. So Linphone is a SIP application, SIP. So uh, it's going to allow you to make phone calls uh, through the internet or through your network. Now, normally you would set up a server or use a service somewhere as a server. But I'm going to show you today that it's very simple if you're on the same network to just directly connect to another computer without a server. There's no encryption for this, so you'd want to be on a private network and stuff like that. Uh, but this is very useful. Like sometimes my daughter's in her room and we're playing a video game or something, and I want to be able to voice chat with her. And there's lots of ways you can do that, but this is super simple. There's a GUI interface we're going to look at today, but if you guys like this topic, I can show you a little bit more about it in the future. I don't know a whole lot, but I know the basics of setting up a server, also connecting to clients outside of your system, and there's also a complete shell-based version of Linphone to where you can make calls, receive calls, answer calls, all that good stuff right in your terminal. So, Let's go ahead and have a look. Uh, I'm going to be running a Debian-based system here, and let's go ahead and install Linfo. So again, I'm using a Debian-based Alive system here, running off a flash drive. It's Anti-X, which is just a lightweight Debian-based distro. And uh, I'm just going to use, <laughs> wrong keyboard, sudo apt install Linfo. Enter and then type in the password. Now again, I'm using apt here, uh, which is a standard uh, package manager for Debian-based systems. Uh, Linphone is going to be on pretty much all your major Linux distributions. So use whatever package manager, whether it's a shell or a GUI package manager, and just install Linphone. Once it's installed, you can run it from the shell just by typing Linphone and hitting enter. Or, of course, you can go to your menus and select it from your applications. So I'm going to go to my menus here, and on this particular one, it's under Applications. It's under uh, Network, I believe, or Internet for this distribution, and Linphone. And it will open up. Now, the GUI opens up, but it also puts an icon down in your system tray. So if I was to close this uh, GUI, it's still going to be running as a service down here. And, of course, you can bring that up just by clicking on it, and it brings the GUI back up. So now applications like this can get real advanced. Again, if you have a server and it's actually hooked to a phone line, you can actually make real phone calls to real uh, cell phones or landlines uh, through this protocol. But we're just doing network to network. So how does that work? So basically, when we're in here in the application, your phone number is going to be your username at your IP address. So on my desktop computer, my name is MetalX1000, and my IP address on the local network is 192.168.1.155. So right here in this little bar, I type in SIP colon MetalX1000 at 192.168.1.155. And it will show up here, and I can choose to either make a video call, make a regular call, or even send text messages. So right now, I'm going to click this call button, and I have Linphone running in the background on my desktop machine. And when I click that button, I get a phone call. So this rings, and this rings, and then all I have to do is on my desktop, click the pickup button. And as long as you have your microphone and speaker set up properly, you are now in a voice conversation. Now, again, there was a video option, and there's also a texting option. Uh, and again, we're connecting directly. If you go through a server, you have an option to set up encryption, and you'll have logins and passwords for users. But I'm just connecting directly, so there's no encryption. And you can see that if you look at the application. There's a red lock icon that is unlocked. 
letting you know that basically anybody on your network can be hearing what you're saying. Obviously it's not just magic, they're not just everybody's going to all of a sudden hear what you're saying, but if they're sniffing your network. And uh, SIP, this is the same if you're in an office environment and you have a network of phones, uh, this is running on the same protocol. In fact, uh, over a decade ago, uh, where I work, they got network phones and they put them on the same network as all the other computers. And I was able to sniff traffic and uh, using Wireshark, I was able to hear both sides of the conversation. It would record them as separate wave files. Uh, so that's something to think about. But again, I'm on a closed encrypted network with my family and this is just, I'm using it to connect to my daughter's room sometimes to talk to her or my son if we're playing video games. But you can set up a network, uh, a server with encryption and you can also set up uh, you know, an account elsewhere, such as uh, Linphone has a website where you can set up free, uh, a free account. Now, you can also get a Linphone app, of course, free and open source for your phone. It's available on F-Droid, and you can do the same exact thing. As long as you're on the same network, you put in the IP address, their username, you know, SIP, colon, the username, at, and the IP address. And of course, it puts it into your uh, recent call history, so you don't have to type that every time. You can just go to your history. Also on your phone, you can grant it access to your contacts. And once it does that, if you have uh, a SIP information for them in their contacts, you can use that to contact people. Uh, and of course, uh, video, I can show you the video, uh, the EPC here. It's so slow, it's very jerky, so it isn't a very good demonstration of that. But if you're interested in this, I can definitely do more on this topic later. Uh, again, setting up your own server, which I just know enough to get a server up and running, uh, or accessing the Linphone, uh, creating an account on Linphone and getting that set up on your phone, because that took me a, a little bit to figure that out, how to do that. It's not that hard, although I recommend setting up your account on your computer, because on the app on the phone, it really wants you to enter a phone number to create an account. But if you do it on your desktop or laptop, you don't have to, and then you can access it on your phone. And uh, also, again, video chat, texting, and once you set up a server, then you can you know, link to this from outside your network, but if you're gonna do that, you may also wanna look into using a service such as Linphone. So real quick as an example here, so when you're running Linphone on an Android device, it's gonna be running in the background as a service. There's a little icon up in your, um, system tray here, if that's what it's called on the phone, I forget. Uh, but I'm gonna call myself from my desktop to my phone. So when I click that, it comes up and it uses the ringtone that I use for my regular phone calls. I can answer and then I can just talk. And again, we can do video and texting that way as well. So uh, a few more examples. Again, here's my laptop. Here's my phone. I'm going to call my phone from my desktop, which is up here out of view. So I'm gonna call that. My phone's gonna ring. I'm gonna answer it. So now I'm in a conversation that way. Now on the laptop, I'm going to call my desktop. And my desktop's ringing, and I get this on the screen. When I pick it up, what's fun here, if I switch my phone over speaker mode, I'm on hold, and it plays hold music for you, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can do conference calling too. So I'm gonna click this button up here that says start conference call. There's also a, a start, uh, a open a conference, uh, which has a little text bubble. But I'm gonna do the one with the phone. Just like before, I put in the username, at, and their IP address, and then I add them. I already did that for my cell phone. Now I'll do that for the laptop that we're demoing, demoing things on. And all I have to do is click start. And both my laptop and my phone are ringing. I can answer here and I can answer here. And now we are on a conference call. You can also transfer calls and do everything that you would do, uh, you know, with a stand. Oh, the phone call's still going on. Okay, I hung up on all three devices. Um, but yeah, this is just like, you know, a phone you would have in an office. And if you had a phone on your system, uh, you know, on your network that is a SIP phone, a, a voice uh, over IP phone. Uh, there's a good chance, one, that it's running Linux uh, and it's using a SIP protocol. So this is something very interesting to use. It's something that I've played around with in the past but haven't really gotten into and I've just been playing around with it lately. So if you're interested in more of this stuff, I just showed a basic overview of some of the stuff you can do with the basic GUI. Um, I hope that all made sense to you. Uh, but if you are interested, I can, again, do the same thing uh, using just Shell, which is nice because uh, it, it's also helpful, like, if my daughter is on her computer, I can log in and start up uh, Lynn phone and answer it and start talking to her, uh, even if she doesn't answer, even though she's just a room over. Um, and then also I can show the very basics of just getting a server up and running. Um, that's as far as I got. 
is setting up a few accounts and logging in. And then also setting up an account on uh, Linphone that's uh, free to set up an account. And then you can, uh, like my, my kids, uh, both have cell phones that they use when we're on vacations, mainly as, cell, as uh, cameras. But if they're on Wi-Fi, they can call me or text me. Uh, which is pretty cool, even though they don't have a cellular service that is using some of my old phones. So let me know. Comment below. Let me know it, what parts of that sound interesting to you, if this is something you're interested in, and if a lot of people are interested in, I will do some more videos on this. So thanks for watching. Uh, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. Also check out my Patreon page, uh, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000 if you're looking to support me. And as always, I just hope that you have a great day.